Well everyone, today is another day. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to clear the RAM on really any iPhone, and this can go for the iPhone 10R, 10, the 11 series. With the iOS 13, it was a little different, and I figured I might as well show you guys how to do it. Now I'm not gonna do a 30 minute intro for these things, because every single video I've seen of this, it was like a 50 minute intro, and I'm not about to do that. So if you're on iOS 13 or above, this is pretty much the process to do it. What you wanna do is, first of all, you want to go into your settings app. You want to scroll all the way down until you see accessibility, which is right there. You want to scroll all the way down until you see accessibility shortcut. And you just want to make sure that assistive touch thing right there is enabled. If that is enabled, then you're set. Don't even worry about anything else in your life ever again. But if it's not enabled, then make sure you click it and enable it. So once you see that little circle thing, you're set. And if you don't see it, just triple click the power button just like that really fast. And it'll go ahead and enable it right there. So once you have that enabled, all you want to do, and this is very important, you want to click the volume up button, volume down button. And without holding the volume down button, when you click it, you just want to press the power button. That's something I kept missing up on. So what you want to do, up volume, down volume, and then just hold the power button without clicking the volume down button. I know it kind of weirded me out too, because usually you have to do it that way, but you don't have to do it in this case. So once you're on this page, what you want to do is Make sure you have the assistive touch thing right here and you just want to hold down that home button and as you can see as soon as that restarts that pretty much resets the ram and i'll go ahead and show you with an app for example this app as you can see it's taking quite a long time to load the app store and this is because all those apps in the background that you saved up even if they're cleared out it doesn't necessarily take out the information once you close out of it it does take a while and as you can see i'm on airplane mode so it's never going to load up but if i open spotify or some app like this as you can see it's already open it's in the background if i do the same thing while i'm up Volume down, power button. Okay, I'm in it. Assistive touch, home button. And as you can see, it reset. And as soon as I open it, it, you saw that it reset a little bit. So the benefits of this and the reason you should do this is to make sure your iPhone, all those background processes and everything are cleaned up. And so you don't have like a ton of things in the background all the time. And the process for an older iPhone is exactly the same way. All you want to do now, this is, this is dead. I hate how this thing is dead. But it's the same as I think. Hold down the power button. And once you have it open, hold down the home button. And then it'll go ahead and reset the RAM. And that's literally how easy the process is. So that's really pretty much it. A super basic tutorial. If you guys run into any problems or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. But like I said, as long as you don't hold down that volume down button when you call power it down, you probably shouldn't run into any issues. Hit that like button if this video helped you out. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, man.